My classroom was made up of students from around the globe. The New Media Institute is essentially a program that is just a, a neat opportunity to bring in some students from abroad, from a culture very different from ours, to teach them, for some of them, citizen journalism skills, and for some of them to sort of hone their, um, their skills and abilities as journalists. It's a way to explore the ways that um, new media, mostly social media like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, all the, all the new technological advances, how they can be used in this changing media environment. We had five countries represented, Nepal, Sri Lanka, India, and Bangladesh, and then we had our U.S. students. I mean, they're the same age, maybe a couple years older. We have to establish a particular kind of uh, a genre where people will be informed, people will get information through the latest means of uh, communication. I think the amount of confidence that the teachers and faculty show in the students is just marvelous and it's really encouraging for me as a student. We have to keep that confidence in us. We have to keep that faith. Something provokes me from inside. That, go Yas, go, you can do it. Go Yas, go, you can do it. My classroom, a real ad and PR agency. Our client was Enervest, and they are an oil and gas acquisition company based out of Houston. They called on us to basically do a rebranding and redesign campaign for them. Basically, they wanted a new logo, kind of like a new look for their company. We redesigned their entire website, their logo. With those logos, we could make PowerPoint templates that were consistent, along with letterhead designs and templates, and then some website designs as a whole. We um, created all this stuff in order to make a pitch for them. I've never worked with a better group. They are so professional, but fun. Each of our individual strengths produce something far greater than anything any one individual can do. Overall, it's been an amazing experience. Gaylord and working with Lindsay and Asp has given me the absolute best experience I think any college student could ask for. The faculty are continue to strive to professionally develop us and be mentors. Lindsay and Asp has been incredible. They don't hold you back, they teach you so much and you, you learn as you go along with all of your peers. It's great. My classroom was a film set. Hi! With puppets. FPU is about a universal college experience. Uh, it's what all of us go through. We all try to figure out where we fit in. We all try to make friends. We hope to fall in love. We have professors that love us, professors that hate us. And uh, our hero just happens to have most of those things happen to him by virtue of him being Focus a puppet. On the movie. Shut your trap before I shut it for you. My favorite thing about the class is the, well, first of all, the people. They're all awesome. Second of all, the uh, the production experience. I mean, being able to get the like feel of actually working on a real set. We, we talk. There's been a lot of good experiences. I really enjoyed doing casting calls because we got to work with a lot of different talent that we normally haven't worked with being Gaylord students. That puppet saved your life. Mm -hmm. Everybody got to experience the different positions that they want to experience, like if you wanted to do sound or if you wanted to do lighting or if you wanted to be a puppeteer, that you had many options, so it was really, really cool. Speed and action. My classroom, Puerto Rico, and I brought along this. Welcome to Puerto Rico! It's just a trip to Puerto Rico on travel writing. We get to see some of the most amazing places, you know, learn how to write about them. It was actually two courses combined. Uh, one of them was about travel writing and another one was almost to provide, within my spe assignment specifically, to provide a, a multimedia package of the trip itself. We saw some amazing cave, we went and kayaked at midnight, we saw some bioluminescent streams, we got some, to meet some great people, we had some incredible food, I saw the rainforest, we did a lot. There was a huge parade that they, they handle actually Christmas, they have that for like a month, whereas we have it for, you know, one day, they celebrate it for a month. There's little things like that that maybe I didn't realize about other cultures that I'm glad to know now. I think there's a big difference in, in learning something like travel writing, from, you know, from a classroom to an actual going to a place like Puerto Rico, but you know, there's so many things that I've taken away from it, little things, maybe about the culture or nature, that I wouldn't be able to really learn from a textbook. I mean, honestly, for me, it was, it was more just about the experience. Um, you know, I've had several classes where we learned some videoing skills, and it, I think this actually did help me with that and also helped me kind of learn a little bit more about the world. My classroom, I created my own world. 
and it's full of zombies. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jelani Sims, co-author of Night of the Necromancer, Can You Survive the Zombie Apocalypse, which I wrote with Kyle West. In this story, you are the main character, investigating strange disappearances on campus. In this Choose Your Own Adventure tale, death is always one choice away. You fall asleep and wake up later to discover you are the only one left in the building. I can't believe I slept for an hour and a half. Even though you know you're all alone in the library, it's still a creepy place. But wait, was that a book dropping? Hello? She doesn't answer. Are you okay? You're given two options. Option one, try to help. Hey, oh, wait, I'll, I'll call for help. Ah. No, you're crazy. Ah. No. That was a bad choice. Or you can pick option two. Run! Oh. Ah. Ah. Can you survive the zombie apocalypse? My classroom was taught from the front lines of Afghanistan. You are sitting in the most unique class in the world in journalism. The Afghan 101 has been one of the best classes um, that I've ever been in here at OU. Uh, one of our professors, Mike Betchers, he's embedded in Afghanistan with a unit. So we get to write the stories that are kind of, you know, the, the background of those soldiers and talk to their families. And it's really interesting because you don't often think about the families. For Afghan 101, I went on the first Kentucky trip, which was incredible. I ended up spending the day with a widow. Her name is Emma Weaver, and her husband, First Lieutenant Todd Weaver, stepped on an IED September 9th of 2010. So Emma is left to care for their now 16-month-old daughter, Kylie, um, just by herself, and she's picking up and moving to Virginia, where her family is from, and just starting her life over. I'm blessed that through Afghan 101, I have the opportunity to tell her story. Mike, we get to hear from him maybe once every week or every other week. He's a character, so is John, um, and they're great. It's so amazing to be able to be taught by both of these professors. They have such amazing backgrounds. Maybe instead of focusing too much on you know, the, the basic fundamentals of journalism, they teach you how to be a human first, and I really do uh, enjoy that because we're all humans in the end, right? My classroom, we produced a live award show in Las Vegas. The BEA Festival of Media Arts is a huge national competition where faculty and students both can submit their media projects to be judged. There's a huge variety of entries into this competition. You got sports, documentary, news, interactive media, and audio. We've started our journey at an icon, Voodoo Donut. And that's where we came in. We were asked to produce the best of festival show in Las Vegas. We created nearly 40 video components, just profiling the winners and their piece. And one of the hardest ones to do is script writing. More reports of successful interventions for the United Systems and Planets from GoMons. This year we wanted to create a really cool open that really represents the theme of what is HD. We decided to get interactive with the audience. We had a couple live actors, including myself, take a, a little standard deaf television, wheel it behind the screen, and simply convert it to HD. I love the challenge of just getting in there and getting my hands dirty with After Effects and figuring out how to make sparks fly off of a chainsaw and how to make big robotic arms swing down from the ceiling, grab the screen and stretch it. And once this conversion was done, we quickly ran back out, grabbed the plugs, plugged it in, and you see this big HD screen fire up and the crowd just went wild. Only in Vegas, baby. This is our classroom. 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 Gaylord College. 